The only thing that stands between you and your well-being is just that you've allowed your thoughts and emotions to take instructions from outside rather than from within. Well, your thought, your emotion, I would say even your chemistry and your energies should take instructions from you because these are all your faculties and the fundamental nature of who you are must work for your well-being. Why are your thoughts working against you? Why are your emotions working against you? Well, this is like we have uh, outside for our convenience and enhancement of life, we have uh, created various machines, let's say a bicycle. <laughs> Only if you are well balanced on the bicycle, bicycle takes you where you want. It will take you many places. But if you do not know how to balance, or your eyes are closed and you ride, then of course it'll break your bones or maybe take your life. This is what is happening with the vehicle of your mind, that your mind is not taking instructions from you. This is very important, particularly the youth of this nation and the world must take charge of their mind. How do I do that? Well, there is a whole technology, as there is a science and technology for external well-being, there is a whole science and technology for inner well-being. This is what we are calling as inner engineering, that you engineer yourself the way you want yourself to be. If you are not the way you want to be, how will anybody else be the way you want to be? How will the world be the way you want it to be, when your own mind is not the way you want it to be?